Hi, this is Mark Birch and today we're going to be taking a look at Jekyll and Hyde Chapter 1 with a focus on setting. Students are frequently confused by the layout of Jekyll's house and it's not surprising. In Chapter 1 we have Enfield and Utterson walking down a pleasant by street where they discuss a door that's actually the rear door to Jekyll's laboratory. Utterson knows that the door that Enfield refers to as uh, having an odd story connected to it is linked to Jekyll's house in the adjacent street and that any story that Enfield tells is going to relate to his friend. It's therefore no wonder that he says indeed with a slight change of voice when Enfield mentions this. The shop fronts in the by street are personified in the simile like rows of smiling saleswomen making it attractive and also acting as a contrast to the kind of decay and lifelessness of the door. This contrast is further developed through reference to the streets in the area. These act as a kind of dull background to this street, which contrasts the neighbourhood like a fire in a forest, a simile conveying the brightness of the street rather than any potential danger. The positive Lexus used to describe the street is in stark contrast to the negative Lexus used to describe the building that houses the door. The repetition of the plosive B sounds in a block of building could complement the violence of the thrust that's associated with this personified building. And uh, also the sinister nature of it could be complemented by the repetition of the sibilant sounds. The building is personified further through the description of the second story as having a blind forehead of discoloured wall. The transferred epithet, blind, conveys a sense of disability that mirrors that of Hyde. He seems to have something wrong with his appearance, as Enfield says, just as a forehead cannot be blind as it lacks eyes. The transferred epithet just seems wrong, as does Hyde. Created using Powtoon.